Alright, we're going to go through the Hess's Law worksheet. I'm going to go through this rather quickly, but you can always stop it, slow it down, um, and rewatch it if you need. So the first thing I like to do is label all of my reactions. Then what I do is assess what I need. So it looks like I need NH4 on the reactant side. Remember that this is our like ideal reaction, and we have to make this reaction out of these three reactions. So I see NH3 over here. The only NH3 I have is there. I need four of them. I only have two. So I need to flip this reaction so it's on the reactant side. NH3 is on the reactant side. And I need to multiply it by two. And I'll rewrite that reaction down here. So that's the exact same reaction as above, just flipped and multiplied by two. Then I look and I see that I need four NOs on the product side. Here I have NO on the product side, so that's good, but I only have two of them, so I'm going to multiply this by two. Whoops-a-daisy, sorry about that. And so I'll rewrite that reaction down below, multiplied by two. Last reaction. Looks like I need six water molecules on the product side, here I have only two water molecules on the product side. So I'll multiply that whole reaction by three and write it down below here. Whatever I did to the reaction, I need to do to its delta H. So I multiplied this by two, so I multiply the delta H by two. If I flip the reaction, I flip the sign of the delta H. And then because I multiplied it by two, I will multiply it by two. Last one I multiply by 3, and I'll rewrite those delta H's down below. And then when I add those delta H's together, I'll get a final answer. Remember that this number is really this number times 2. This number is this number with the sign flipped times 2. And this number is just this number times 3 all combined. Alright, next problem. Oh, we'll cancel out just to make sure. And here I have four ammonias, four ammonias, one, two, three, four, five oxygens. Then I have four NOs and six H2Os. So we're good. Next problem, same rules apply. This needs to be on the product side it is on the reactant side, so I need to flip this reaction. This is reaction 1, reaction 2, reaction 3. So reaction 1 gets flipped. I don't have to multiply it by anything, I just had to flip it. I draw my reaction arrows like this because it's easier to see things cancel out on opposite sides when the reaction arrow is there. So, number two, I have two carbons on the reactant side, only one carbon on the reactant side here, so I need to multiply that reaction by two and rewrite it right here. Next, I have two hydrogens on the reactant side, only one hydrogen here, one hydrogen here, two hydrogens there, so I need to multiply that reaction by two, and I do right here. Now, those two water molecules cancel out. Two carbons is what I want. That C two CO2s cancels with that two CO2s. Those two O2s cancel with those two O2s. I'm left with two H2s, one O2, and one C2H5O2H, which is what I want in my top equation. Now I can alter the delta H's just the same way. So that one I flipped, so I flipped the sign. This one I multiplied the reaction by 2, so I multiply the delta H by 2. This one, same thing. And I rewrite them down below. Add them all up. Oh, and my final answer is negative 486 kilojoules. Remember that all of the answers are on the back side of this worksheet out of order. Alright, next Hess's Law problem. Calculate the delta H for that reaction. So remember, I want a methane. I want to look just like this reaction. 
So I want this CH3 on the reactant side, NH3 on the reactant side, oh, excuse me, CH4, NH3 on the reactant side, and on the product side, I want HCN and 3H2s. So let's just see what we have. Reaction 1, reaction 2, reaction 3. On this first reaction, I see that I have ammonia, NH3, on the product side. I want it on the reactant side, so I need to flip the reaction. But I also have two ammonias here, and I only want one, so I also need to divide by two. Now we'll rewrite that flipped and divided by two. Now I'm using fractions. You could just as easily use decimals. Three halves, if you punch it into your calculator, is 1.5. One half is 0.5. So whichever one you prefer. And we'll change the delta H accordingly. Reaction two. I want methane on the reactant side. Right now methane's on the product side, so I have to flip that reaction. And here's that reaction flipped. And I'll have a delta H that goes with it. Lastly, I want HCN on the product side, like up top here. I have HCN on the reactants, on the mean on the product side as well. The only problem is I have two HCNs in this bottom equation, but my ideal equation only calls for one. So I need to divide that equation by two. And I'll rewrite that equation down below. Remember that I've lined up my reaction arrow so it's easy to see what cancels. Half of an H2 is the same thing as 0.5 half of an N2 is the same thing as 0.5. My NH3 I want to keep, my CH4 I want to keep. My half an H2 can be used to cancel one of those halves so that now I have a whole H2 there plus two more H2s gives me the three H2s I want. Then I can cancel that carbon solid with that carbon solid and that half a nitrogen with that half a nitrogen and box that and I'm finished. So now that I know everything cancels and I've got what I want, I can apply the changes here. Because I flipped this reaction, I flipped the sign of the delta H and divide by two. Because I flipped this reaction, I flipped the sign of the delta H. And because this reaction I divided by two, I divide that delta H by two. And now I write the new delta H's there, add them up, 256 kilojoules, final answer. Alright, next up we have similar problem. Keep in mind, this is C2H4, this is C2H6. Do not be confused, they look really similar, that's a sticky point on this problem. My C2H4 is in the correct spot and the correct number. So I don't need to do anything with problem number one, or reaction number one, except to rewrite it because it's already done. Remember, always pause if I go too fast. Reaction number two, H2 I can look at. I only have H2 in one spot in all of these reactions. I only have one of them there and I need two. So I'm gonna... Oh, sorry, I only need one. Excuse me. So I'm just gonna rewrite that reaction. Nothing changes. Here's where the change occurs. I want C2H6 gas on the product side, I have C2H6 gas on the reactant side. So I need to flip that equation. So now I will rewrite that equation flipped. And I'll have some delta H's that go along with it. Before I write those delta H's, let's make sure everything cancels out correctly. I have one half of an O2 plus three O2s is three and a half O2s. Seven halves is the same as three and a half, so that cancels nicely. I have three H2Os here. Two and one make three H2Os there, so those cancel. I have two CO2s there and two CO2s there, so those cancel. So I'm left with C2H4 and H2 on the reactant side and C2H6 on the product side, so I'm good. Now, whatever I did to the delta H's up top, I do to them on the bottom. I didn't do anything to number one. Number two I flipped, so I flipped the sign, and I didn't do anything to number three. And when I combine those, 
I get an answer. A better answer is negative 137 kilojoules because of significant figures. All right, next problem. Calculate the delta H for that reaction. So, reaction 1, reaction 2, reaction 3. Reaction 1, reaction 2, reaction 3, reaction 4. Two aluminum solids, two aluminum solids. Don't have to do anything there. We're set. So, the delta H. Now, I have six aqueous hydrochloric acids here. I only have one aqueous hydrochloric acid to cancel it out. You see I need to cancel it out because I only want Al, Cl2, and AlCl3 solid. So I know I need to cancel those out. Because I do need to cancel them out, I need to multiply that by 6. So I have 6 HCl gas turning into 6 HCl aqueous. Remember, I line these up so it's easy to see what cancels out. And there's my delta H. Okay, now in this reaction, I have two HCl gases, but I need to cancel out six HCl gases. So I need to multiply that by three. And now I have three H2 plus three Cl2 gas turning into six HCl gas. Almost there. And then I'll have a delta H. AlCl3 solid needs to be on the product side, but AlCl3 solid is on the reactant side here. So I need to flip that. I also want two AlCl3 solids, and I only have one. So not only do I need to flip it, I need to multiply it by two. And here's that equation flipped and multiplied by two. Now that delta H, first one doesn't change. Second one gets multiplied by 6, third one gets multiplied by 3, fourth one, because I flipped it, I change the sign, and then I multiply it by 2. And here are those new delta H's. First one doesn't change, second one multiplied by 6, third one multiplied by 3, fourth one change the sign and multiplied by 2, add them all together negative 6,387 kilojoules. Final answer. All right, last problem. Reaction 1, reaction 2, reaction 3. My N2H4 liquid is on the reactant side, and sure enough, it's on the reactant side there. So number 1 is good. I want two ammonias on the product side. I have two ammonias on the product side. So, my reaction number two is good. I want C2, I mean CH2O gas to be canceled out. And I have CH2O gas on the product side here. So this first one needs to be on the reactant side. So I need to flip this reaction. And if I flip that reaction, I get this reaction right here. Now, N2H4 is good. CH4O, cancel CH4O. CH2O, cancel CH2O. Three hydrogens, cancel three hydrogens. A nitrogen cancels a nitrogen. Hydrogen's left, ammonia's left. Perfect. That's just what we wanted. So now we change the delta H's accordingly and we're done. Final answer, 18 kilojoules. Come in tomorrow morning if you have any questions. Good luck studying.